Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to create a WordPress child theme. Now, real quick, like a child theme is used mainly to preserve any customizations you make to your theme. For the child theme to work, you need at least a style.css file in that child theme directory or folder, and that child theme directory has to be located in the same directory on your server as the parent theme. Now, how this works basically is that the browsers will use the files inside the child theme instead of the parent theme files of the same name except for files like the function.php file where they basically use both files in conjunction with one another but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself so before I totally confuse you let's head on over to wordpress.org and I'll show you where you can get all the details on why you need a child theme what works what doesn't work and all the ins and outs that I'm not going to cover in this basic how to create a child theme video and where you want to head to is codex.wordpress.org forward slash child underscore themes make sure you capitalize the C and the T Otherwise, you might end up with a page not found error message. And you'll see in here that a lot of this is referring to the 2010 default theme of your WordPress site. I'm going to be doing all my work here in the 2011 default theme. But as far as creating the child theme, it's all pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down here and copy this code for me to make our child theme style.css file. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a folder on my desktop for organizational purposes. I've titled it working and I suggest you do the same thing on your computer's desktop so it's easy to find any of your current jobs. Title a folder something like working and in my example here I've got one titled WordPress located inside of my working folder and inside of the WordPress folder is our child theme folder and inside of here is nothing except for my soon to be style.css file which I'm going to start off as a plain text document that I'm going to name style. Let's go ahead and open this up in my favorite text editor and it's Notepad++. I'm going to right click, open with Notepad++ and I'm going to paste that code that I just copied from WordPress.org. And what this is, is the header information here which is required to make this a true style.css file. And of this information, two items are mandatory the rest is just optional the mandatory items is the template which is telling the browsers hey here's the parent theme go here to get all the files that are not located here and this is the name of the child theme here the description can be as wordy as you want again it's optional or it can be just hey you whatever you want to put in there the author I'm gonna put in my name or leastways this name Now, this line of code here is telling the browsers that whatever code that is not located here that you need to make this WordPress site look right go here to get it and that's another reason why this child theme folder has to be in the same directory as the parent theme folder so let's go ahead and add a little bit of customization code here so that we can see what's going to happen to our WordPress site here when we apply that customization and I'm going to add a gaudy red color to this background here just so you know what's taking place. So let's go ahead and grab some code and as far as this code is concerned it's not it doesn't matter what it is or that you know exactly what it means it's just that right now I'm saying the background color is going to be red. This is not so much what the video is about. What the video is about is how to make a child theme. So right now I need to take this style.txt and make it into a style.css. Let's go ahead and save this. Go to save as. Come on down here save as type. Right now it's txt. We need to go to all files right at the very top and change this txt to css. And make sure you got that dot in there and we're good. Let's head back over to that folder on our desktop again and delete this guy here so that we can not confuse our browsers. Now let's go to our FTP client and I'm going to be using Qt FTP and you could use the same thing with FileZilla or whatever FTP client you use. And right now this is the root directory of our WordPress site. You want to go to the themes folder. That's inside of the WP-content folder. Just open that up. Now we want to open up our themes folder and here's the parent theme right here and this is where the child theme needs to go so we're going to right click and then left click on upload and we're done there there we go and close that out head on back to our browser here log into our dashboard and come on down to the appearance sub panel and then click on themes 
because right now we've got that child theme in here but we don't have it activated we have the 2011 theme that's activated and here's the information that is in that header info on that style.css file that I showed you earlier the name right here and the theme title the template name the description all that stuff's right here and you can see examples right here too to give you an idea as to what you can put in there if you'd like and let's go ahead and activate this now and of course it doesn't have the screenshot in there like these guys do and of course something else you can add all you have to do is get a screenshot image of the page you want to display just like these guys here and put that in your child theme folder and it'll work just like these guys do so we are active now and come on back here refresh our page and there's our customization in the child theme so right now our browsers are pulling this information from our child theme and any customizations that we make we should make inside of our child theme so when you do any updates that WordPress sends your way your customizations will remain intact that's going to bring us to the end of this video on how to create a child theme thank you much for watching and you have a great day